Sorry for the noise, the highway is right there. Uh, Adam and I today are taking the Bandit X Trail down to the Blue River Parkway. I don't actually know what the name of the trails are. Let me get back to you on that. But there's some really well-known trails throughout the Midwest. These trails are well-known uh, mountain biking trails and I don't know if we'll be necessarily welcomed as e-bikers on the mountain bike trails. But um, we're gonna try out the Bandit X Trail on these mountain bike trails. They're really nice, they're really well done, really well maintained, and we haven't had any rain, so that means we're good to go, we can ride the trails. I just hope people don't get pissed. Most people, there's people that hike the trails, so we're gonna drive the Bandit. Let's check it out. <laughs> That trailer is, it breaks out my uh, rear parking assist, so it's gonna beep at us the whole time. <laughs> Gotta figure out how to turn that off. Not young anymore. I'm in, really enjoying this rear suspension here. Just everything. It's like sitting on a, a nice cushion. <laughs> also, this beautiful desert sand. Always wear your helmet, kids. Let's go ride. Do you need this coast? So we are. Gonna power on the Bandit X Trail. And we are at the Blue River Parkway trails. And let's try out the Bandit. It's gonna kick it into pedal assist three. Let's see how it goes. Adam took over on the bike. I wanted to give him a break walking up the hill. So I'm walking up the hill now, he's biking. We're learning a few things about the Bandit. This bike is really comfortable. Your biker's going downhill. Yeah, this bike's really comfortable and it's a, it's a learning curve to get it to operate as a mountain bike on trails as opposed to a road bike on the roads, go figure. But uh, um, it's a lot of fun. And once you finally figure it out, it's awesome having that uphill assist. I thought he fell off. He's wearing sandals, trying to bike. Back to a regularly scheduled program. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's three different versions of this bike, but we are testing out the X-Trail Lite, and so far I'm pretty impressed. Number one, this bike is comfortable, but of course, let's go through some of the features and the specifications. It's got a 750 watt rear hub motor in the back, uh, powered by a 14 and a half amp hour battery, which is 
compared to a lot of bikes on the market, it's not huge, it's not small, uh, but so far we haven't had really any issues of running out of juice, especially we've been putting it pretty to some pretty heavy uphill use here on the trails. We've only gone uphill so far. We're about to go back downhill, but a really nice aluminum frame, really great color options, like nice desert tan that we went with, with of course the black and another one I can't remember, I think white. Um, full suspension, you've got front and rear suspension. This also has a really bright, fully color LCD screen, which is unlockable by your custom key card that comes with every bike. You actually get two of these and two keys for your battery to unlock it. Um, I am really impressed with this thing. Four inch fat tire, all terrain tires. In addition, it's got a seven speed Shimano gear system and six different pedal assist options. I'm going to have Adam talk a little bit more about the pedal assist functions because he's been riding it longer. It's a very unique system, but I think it actually turns out really, really well, especially for off-roading, uh, for trail riding. This thing is pretty cool. coming down off the trails. It's pretty gnarly trails. If you're in the Midwest and you have not heard of these trails, check them out. Also check out the Bandit X-Trail Light and the X-Trail, and I think it's the X-Trail Urban. Three great bikes, very comfortable, very awesome for uphill riding on the trails. Uh, we're gonna go do some road tests now. I've had the X-Trail about a week now. I've been riding it every day. You've probably seen in some of the previous videos we've done on it, rode it on some trails, using it uh, to go to the studio a lot. It's only a couple miles away and it's been really awesome. One thing I wanted to mention and talk about is the pedal assist. We've had a lot of different e-bikes that we've tried out and reviewed and the algorithm, however they are managing battery power seems to be different on all of them. One thing that I realized if you do get this X-Trail is once you hit 20 on the throttle, by pedaling really slow, it really opens up the power. I got up to 28, 29 miles an hour, and I'm six foot one, 200 pounds. At first, I was kind of underwhelmed with the power until I realized that when pedaling very slow, it really opens up the battery to get a lot of speed that I didn't think was possible before. Some of the other bikes aren't like that. Uh, when you kind of hit that max capacity, pedaling, other than you physically making the bike go faster, it's not doing a whole lot. With the X-Trail, pedaling just a little bit when you hit 20 will open up that last bit of speed and you'll be able to get up to 28, 29 miles an hour. I really enjoy this interface. Uh, it's really big, it's really bright, it's really clear. Uh, a lot of bikes do have nice big displays, but some don't. I really like this one. It's easy to use. You can get to the background menu to tweak some settings fairly easily by holding the set button. There is a feature I messed with a little bit. Riding mode. There's torque and speed. I've done both. My thought initially was that torque would give you more, a little more power taking off. It does. It's pretty minimal though, honestly. I didn't notice a huge difference. I mean, it's a five, 10% difference going from a standstill to getting up to speed. So I just leave it on speed because at the end of the day, I want that top speed. Some of my favorite things about the X-Trail. Comfort is definitely key. Uh, some of the bikes we've had, I thought looked cooler to be honest, without anybody on them. They just kind of looked a little sexier. They weren't the step through models. They had more of a motorcycle vibe. But I will say this is the most comfortable one I've ridden or tried. I think that probably has something to do that it does have dual uh, shock, dual suspension. Uh, and when you're getting older, you know, you appreciate things like that. The step through is, you know, it doesn't look as cool on its own when you're looking at it, but getting on the bike, I think it looks cooler with somebody on it. And if you're wearing skinny jeans, tight pants, it is kind of nice not to have to put your leg over that, that center bar. But for the money, 
and what this bike is. I was really impressed also with just the craftsmanship. Some of the frames can be a little, a little janky on certain bikes, but you can just see the welds. It's built really well. And we did beat it around the trails and accidentally went over a few <laughs> rocks that we didn't know were there. And it's held up really well. I probably have 50 miles on this thing and all terrain. And I did get caught in a rainstorm once as well. So it did get soaking wet <laughs> and it's fine. It's working great. And I really like it. So if you're looking for a bike that doesn't cost a ton, it's built really well, handles all kinds of terrain. It's really comfortable. This is a great bike for the price. If you're interested in checking out uh, one of these X trails, we do have a link for a discount code in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. And uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Bandit X trail is an amazing e-bike. I think if you're looking for a really comfortable ride around town bike with plenty of power and lots of great features, and of course, like I said, comfortable. The X-Trail Lite is the bike you're looking for. I will put a link below to a discount code. Please use that as it helps me out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you do like this video. And I will see you next time.